the safest of fuel here these next 12 laps to try to maintain your gap with him. I can't do it and maintain the gap, so you got to tell me what's more important to you. Darian Grubb told me today we can go 55 laps on a tank of fuel. I think that's better than anybody else. You heard him say, save me 10 or 11 more. That would get him to 212, 55 away from 267. Don't get a speeding penalty here, Tony. gentlemen, your 2011 NASCAR Sprint Cup champion, Tony Stewart. Wow, what a performance tonight. And what better way, Tony, for the closest chase in NASCAR Sprint Cup history to finish. Tony, two of NASCAR's heavyweights. Tony Gibson coming up. Two of NASCAR's heavyweights going toe to toe, head to head, the final laps, and you won it in the championship. What's the emotion right now? Oh, God. Thank the Lord for this one, buddy. I'm a. Uh, man, I'm telling you, it's been a tough, tough summer and a tough fall for us, and you got to believe in something. And the man upstairs, and he held this rain off just long enough for get us to get this job done. So, uh,. This is for Sprint and all these fans up here that stuck it out all weekend here in Homestead. And, oh my God. I don't care how long it rains, I'm gonna be up all night. This is, uh, oh my God, are, are you kidding me? 
for Office Depot, for Mobile One, Chevrolet, U.S. Army, Tornadoes, um, Quicken Loans, GoDaddy, you know, Ritz, uh, Oreos, Coca-Cola, just everybody that's a part of the Stuart Haas program. Mac Tools, we couldn't do it without you guys. Uh, it's just unbelievable. I mean, we we said all week we just go out and win the race. We didn't have to worry about what he did, and that's what we did. And just uh, if this doesn't go down as one of the greatest championship battles in history, I don't know what will. Let's talk about tonight. In the first hundred laps, Tony, you had to go from back to front twice. Three and four wide passes on the restarts as Jeff Gordon comes up to congratulate him. And then the gamble on fuel. How concerned were you that maybe there were just too many obstacles to overcome after all you were having to battle tonight? This team, there's one thing I learned when Gene Haas and Joe Custer gave us this opportunity and our good buddy Rick Hendrick, and I couldn't do it without you, bud, and everybody at Hendrick Engines and Chassis, uh, that there's no quit here. And Darren Grubb, that man up there, and everybody on this team has just dug deep and never given up. And uh, this is a... This is an awesome night. Eddie Jarvis, Prep Food, everybody at Stuart Haas Racing. I've got the best team in the business, and uh, it's just awesome. I, I'm so grateful to be able to do this for Gene Haas because this man's invested a lot in this sport, and uh, for him to have the, the faith in me to do this, just, uh, I, you know, it, it takes a lot to do what he's done, and I'm glad I can get this done for him. Talk about people that have been a lot to the sport. That number 14 belonged to your hero and friend A.J. Foyt. He said you can take the number but drive it with the tenacity of a Texan. Tonight you won a championship the way he won them, up on that wheel refusing to lose. What does it mean to you to take this number, his number, back to a championship stage? I guarantee I'll probably talk to him tonight and he's still going to tell me what I did wrong today, but uh, I'm so proud. I mean, A.J.'s always been one of my heroes and he's He's been very supportive of this when we did this. And, uh, you know, when I, when I asked him if it would be all right if I took his number, he, he was the one that gave me his blessing, and that meant the world to me. Carl Edwards, a class individual. What a battle. What a battle those final What's going through your mind when you're seeing Carl back here, knowing that he's just going to do everything he can, and what a great effort he's had all year long to try to catch you, and you had to win the race to win the championship? Uh, you know, those guys have done an awesome job all year, and, and my buddy Ricky Stenhouse won the nationwide championship yesterday, and Jack got the, the owner's championship, so uh, I didn't feel bad taking this one away from him tonight, but, you know, he's a great competitor, he's a great guy, and we've been giving him a rough time this week, but uh, it was all in an effort to do what we did tonight here, and that's to win this championship, but, um, you know, it shows how classy a guy he is. He was the first one to me over there, and uh, he just said, promise me one thing, that you'll enjoy this, and he goes, I hope it's you and I in this position again next year, so... Uh, it just shows how much class he's got. He's a great guy.